Hi Data Enthusiasts! Welcome back to another exciting episode on our channel. Today we're going to tame the data beast by mastering data taxonomy with real-life examples. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the wonderful world of data taxonomy. First things first, what the heck is data taxonomy anyway? Well, in a nutshell, it's a classification system that helps you organize, understand, and manage your data. Think of it as your very own data filing cabinet, keeping everything neat and tidy. At its core, data taxonomy is made up of categories, subcategories, and attributes. Categories are broad groupings of data, subcategories are smaller divisions within those categories, and attributes are the individual pieces of data within subcategories. Now that we've got the basics down, let's see data taxonomy in action with some real-life examples. Example number one, an online retailer's product catalog. Imagine you're running an online store selling a variety of products. To keep things organized, you'd create a data taxonomy with categories like electronics and clothing, subcategories like smartphones and men's, and attributes like brand, model, and price. Our second example takes us to a library's book collection. As a librarian, you'd use a data taxonomy to organize books by categories like fiction and non-fiction, subcategories like mystery and history, and attributes like author, title, and publication year. You might be wondering, why is data taxonomy so important? Well, it helps keep your data organized, accessible, and consistent. Plus, it makes it easier for others to navigate and understand your data. Now let's tackle some frequently asked questions about data taxonomy. Question 1. Can a data taxonomy change over time? Absolutely. As your data needs evolve, you may need to adjust your taxonomy to accommodate new categories, subcategories, or attributes. Just remember to keep things consistent and well-documented. How do I create a data taxonomy? Start by identifying broad categories that represent your data, then break those categories down into more specific subcategories, and finally, list the attributes for each subcategory. It might be helpful to use a spreadsheet or mind mapping tool to visualize your data taxonomy as you create it. What are some common challenges in creating a data taxonomy? Some potential roadblocks include inconsistency in data naming and categorization, lack of clarity around what attributes should be included and difficulty in maintaining the taxonomy as new data is added or old data is updated. So there you have it. A whirlwind tour of data taxonomy with examples. We hope this video has helped you better understand what data taxonomy is and how to create one for your specific needs. Remember, a well-organized data taxonomy is the key to unlocking the full potential of your data, so don't be afraid to dive in and give it a try. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more data-related content. Happy organizing, and see you next time!